So the ETOP915 uh, PROMISE study uh, was a randomised phase 3 study looking at patients with relapsed malignant pleural mesothelioma. Uh, in this study, patients were randomised between uh, pembrolizumab or chemotherapy. We had a total of 144 patients randomised to pembrolizumab or chemotherapy and pembrolizumab was given at a standard flat dose of 200 milligrams until time of progression or clinical benefit uh, following progression or a maximum of two years. Chemotherapy was either gemcitabine or vinorelbine chemotherapy as per institution choice uh, and patients that were randomised to chemotherapy were allowed to cross over to receive pembrolizumab at point of progression. The primary endpoint of the study was progression-free survival and other secondary endpoints included response rate and overall survival and exploratory endpoints included analyses by pdl one status. The primary endpoint of the study was progression-free survival. Unfortunately, that was not met. The study did not demonstrate that pembrolizumab was superior to chemotherapy uh, and the hazard ratio was 1.04. Uh, we therefore uh, cannot say that pembrolizumab is superior to chemotherapy in this unselected patient population. When we look at key secondary endpoints, the response rate was four times higher for pembrolizumab than it was for chemotherapy, with a response rate of 22% compared to 6% for chemotherapy. However, duration of response was broadly similar between the two arms. Uh, Overall survival in the entire study again was not uh, significantly improved with chemotherapy with a hazard ratio of 1.04 and one has to take account of uh, crossover contributing to that uh, uh, outcome. Uh, whilst we did try to correct as best as we could for crossover using statistical analyses, we still did not find a survival uh, 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 advantage. Nevertheless, the uh, survival that we do see is very reasonable for patients with relapsed uh, mesothelioma. We performed a number of exploratory analyses by pdl one status using the E1L3N clone. The majority of patients are pdl one positive but only uh, 1 to 49 percent pdl one positive in mesothelioma and when we looked at outcomes by pdl one status we don't see really that pdl one is driving the benefit that we observe uh, with responses or durable benefit on the waterfall uh, on the waterfall plots and on the spider plots with uh, pembrolizumab. So in summary, uh, pembrolizumab is an active agent uh, in relapsed uh, malignant pleural mesothelioma, uh, but it's not superior in terms of progression-free survival uh, against uh, uh, vinorelbine or gemcitabine chemotherapy. Uh, it's difficult to comment on overall survival because of the significant crossover that we had.